So next, in order to determine the signs of the trigonometric functions, let me draw the quadrant system, that is the Cartesian coordinate system. So let this be our y-axis and this be our x-axis. This is positive x-axis, this will be negative x-axis, this will be positive y-axis and this will be negative y-axis. Next, let me write down the definitions of trigonometric functions in the right hand side in terms of x, y and r. First, just sin theta. Sin theta is always y divided by r. Next, just cos theta. Cos theta is always x divided by r. Next, just tan theta. That is the ratio of sin theta and cosine theta sine theta and cosine theta so it will be y divided by x next three will be the reciprocal of the previous three functions first one is cosec theta which is the ratio of r divided by y because it is the reciprocal of sine theta that is one by sine theta next is sec theta sec theta is the is the ratio of r divided by x that is it is the reciprocal of cos theta that is 1 divided by cos theta next is cot theta cot theta is the ratio of x divided by y that is the adjacent side of the triangle divided by the opposite side of the triangle cot theta is the reciprocal of tan theta as tan theta is the ratio of sine theta and cosine theta similarly cot theta is the ratio of cosecant theta and secant theta so it is ratio of cosecant theta divided by secant theta the value of r in all the six trigonometric functions will be always positive because that is it is the measure of length of the hypotenuse side of the triangle so therefore it is always positive the value of y and x will be changing from positive to negative depending on which quadrant the terminal side of theta lies maybe in the first quadrant or second quadrant or third quadrant or the fourth quadrant so next let us find out the signs of these trigonometric functions in all of these four quadrants one by one so first let us take the first quadrant so in the first quadrant you can see both the value of x-axis and y-axis is positive so all the trigonometric functions will be positive now let us find out the signs of each trigonometric functions in all the four quadrants first let us look into the first quadrant in the first quadrant both x-axis and y-axis are positive therefore all the trigonometric functions will be positive so let us go one by one first First one is sine theta which has the definition y divided by r as i said before r is always positive so it remains positive and the value of y coordinate here will be positive because the y axis here is positive sine theta here is positive next is cos theta the definition of cos theta is x divided by r r will be always positive and x is positive because the x axis here is positive x axis so positive by positive will be positive cos theta will be positive next one is tan theta the definition of tan theta is y by x so the value of y will be positive because the x-axis here is positive and the value of x here will be positive because the x-axis here is positive the value of tan theta will be positive so next one is cosecant theta which has the definition r divided by y r is always positive and y here will be positive because here we have positive y axis cosecant theta will be positive next one is secant theta the definition of secant theta is r divided by x r will be always positive and the value of x here will be positive because here we are having positive x axis it will be positive and the last one is cot theta the definition of cot theta here in terms of x and y is x divided by y the value of x here will be positive because we are having positive x axis here and the value of y here will be positive because we are having positive y axis here cot theta will be positive in the first quadrant all the trigonometric functions have positive values so therefore all are positive in the first quadrant next let us move on to the second quadrant we have negative x axis and we have positive y axis let us look into the trigonometric functions one by one. First one is sine theta. So definition of sine theta here is y by r which is here. 
In the second quadrant, the value of R will be always positive, and the value of Y here it will be positive. It will be positive because it is having positive y-axis. Positive value divided by positive value, we get positive value. Next is cos theta. Definition is x divided by r. So now in the second quadrant, we have negative x-axis. So it will be negative x divided by positive r because r is always positive. So now negative value divided by positive value is always negative. So therefore, the value of cos theta in the second quadrant is negative. Next is tan theta. The definition of tan theta is y by x. So in the second quadrant, the value of y is always positive because it is having positive y-axis. So y will be always positive. The value of x will be negative because it is having negative x-axis. Negative x. So positive value divided by negative value will be negative. Cosecant theta. Cosecant theta's definition is r divided by y. The value of r will be always positive and the value of y here will be positive because we are having positive y-axis here. r divided by y. Positive value by divided by positive value is positive value. Next is secant theta. Definition is r divided by x. r will be always positive. The value of x here will be negative because we are having negative x-axis here. Here we will get minus x. The value of x will be always negative. So positive value divided by negative value will be negative value. And the last one is cot theta whose definition is x divided by y. So the value of x here will be negative because we are having negative x-axis. So it is negative x divided by the value of y will be always positive because here second quadrant we have the positive y-axis minus x divided by positive y. Negative value divided by positive value will always be negative. In the second quadrant only sine theta and cosec theta are positive. And now let us move on to the third quadrant. Let us look into the trigonometric functions one by one. First one is sine theta and its definition is y divided by r. So the value of y in the third quadrant will be negative because it is having negative y-axis. So minus y divided by r. r will be always positive because it is a measure of the distance because it is a measure of length of the hypotenuse side of the triangle. So negative value divided by positive value will be negative. Next is cos theta. The definition of cos theta is x divided by r. The value of x will be negative because we are having negative x-axis in the third quadrant. So negative x divided by r. r because r is always positive. Negative value divided by positive value is negative value. Next is tan theta. Definition of tan theta is y divided by x. The value of y here will be negative. So negative y divided by x. So the value of x here will be negative because it is having negative x-axis. Minus y divided by minus x. Negative sign and negative sign will cancel out each other. So we are left with y by x which is a positive value. So tan theta is positive. Next is cosecant theta whose definition definition is r divided by y. r will be always positive but y here will be negative because the third quadrant is having negative y axis. So it will be minus y. Positive value divided by negative value is negative value. Next is secant theta which has the definition r divided by x. So r will be always positive. The value of x here will be negative because the third quadrant is having negative x-axis. So minus x. So positive value divided by negative value will give us negative value. Last one will be cot theta. Definition is x divided by y. The value of x and y will be negative because it is having negative x-axis and negative y-axis. Minus x divided by minus y. Negative sign, negative sign will cancel out each other. We are left out with x by y. x divided divided by y which is a positive value. So in the third quadrant only tan theta and cot theta are positive. In the third quadrant tan theta and cot theta are positive. So next will be our last fourth quadrant. Let us look into the trigonometric functions one by one. So first one is sine theta whose definition is y divided by r. The value of y here will be negative because we are having negative y axis here. So negative y 
divided by R. R will be always positive. So negative value divided by positive value will always be negative. Next one is cos theta whose definition is x divided by R. The value of x here will be positive because we are having positive x axis here. x divided by R because R is always positive. Positive value divided by positive value is positive. Next one is tan theta whose definition is y divided by x. So the value of y here will be negative because we are having negative y axis here. So negative y divided by x. x here will be positive because we have positive x axis here. Negative value divided by positive value is negative value. Next is cosecant theta whose definition is r divided by y. So r will be always positive. y here will be negative because we are having negative y axis here. Negative y positive value divided by negative value is negative value. So next is secant theta whose definition is r divided by x. r will be always positive and the value of x here will be positive because we are having positive x axis here. So r divided by x positive value by positive value to be positive value. And the last one is cot theta whose definition is x divided by y. The value of x here will be positive because we are having positive x axis. The value of y here will be negative because we are having negative y axis. Positive value divided by negative value will be negative value. So in the fourth quadrant cos theta and secant theta are positive. In the fourth quadrant cos theta and secant theta are positive. So depending on which quadrant the terminal side of theta lies we can determine the signs of trigonometric functions. There is a small trick here to remember the signs of the trigonometric function. So let me draw a small Cartesian coordinate system here x minus x y minus y. So we can remember all school to college. So here all means all the trigonometric functions here are positive in the first quadrant. All the trigonometric functions are positive and second one is school. So here we need to concentrate on the first letter. So s. So sine theta begins with s. So sine theta and its reciprocal cosecant theta will be positive in the second quadrant. Sine is positive and cosecant theta is positive. Here the first letter is t. Tan theta begins with t. Tan theta and its reciprocal reciprocal cot theta are positive here in the third quadrant that is tan theta and cot theta are positive in the third quadrant. Last one is college. So C is the first letter here. Cos theta begins with C. Cos theta and its reciprocal sec theta will be positive in the fourth quadrant that is cos theta and sec theta are positive in the fourth quadrant. This is a small trick to remember the trigonometric functions. So if you understood the concept, subscribe, share and like.